Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's question deals with the replace function, which is a function in Access you can use either in your queries, your forms, or in your VBA code to replace one string of characters with another one. Today's question comes from Barbara, and she says, I have a customer table that has all kinds of mixed up data in it. For example, in the phone number field, some people entered parentheses 716-333-5555, whereas other people enter it like that with just dashes and no parentheses. All I want are the digits without other characters. Is there an easy way to strip them out? This is something I have to do on a regular basis and find and replace is a pain. Well, Barbara, this is a perfect use of the replace function where you can use it to replace one character or string of characters with another one or a blank string in that case. Couple that together with an update query and it's very easy to remove all the characters that you don't want from something like a phone number. Let me show you. Okay, so here I've got a real simple customer table, first name, last name, address, all that, and here's phone number. And you can see the people have entered data in this phone number field all mixed up. All right, some have parentheses, some have dashes, some have dots. So I want to replace these characters with just a blank string. So just get rid of them, in other words. Now, you could do this on a regular basis with a find and replace, but that's a pain. It'd be nice if you had one little query you can click on and run it, and it would just make the change for you especially if you're in a situation where you import data from another company. I get a lot of people that tell me that. They have data that they pull in from another company, marketing information, customers, whatever, and they want to fix it before they put it in their main customer table. That's what I recommend doing, by the way. Import this into a secondary table, make your changes with an update query or whatever, and then put that data that's clean in your main customer table. But let's see how we can get rid of those characters. So we're going to use a query. So first off, we're just going to make a basic select query. All right. Create Query Design, add the customer table. All right, let's find the phone number field. And if I look at it now, I've got just the basic list of phone numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go one at a time and replace the characters that we don't want. So let's look for that open parenthesis. We're going to use the replace function. All right, so we're going to call this one P2, phone number two, whatever, colon. We're going to set that equal to replace, the replace function. It takes three bits of information. The first parameter is what's the field that you're pulling in, so phone, comma. The next thing is what string are you looking for? So let's look for an open parenthesis, but it's got to be inside of quotes. So open and then like that. So quote, open parenthesis, close quote, comma. Now what are we replacing it with? If I wanted to replace it with the letter X, I could put an X in there like that. But I just want a blank string there. In other words, replace it. All right. Close that up and then press enter. Right, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what it looks like. All right, P2 colon replace and then inside parentheses phone. Now access puts the brackets around phone because it's a it's a field name. And then comma quote, open parentheses quote, comma, and then two quotes again and then your close parentheses. All right, three parameters there. Okay, so if I run this now, see what I got? It replaced that first open parenthesis with a blank. So it basically got rid of it. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the close parentheses. Let's go back to design view. We'll make another field. You can't do multiple ones in the same, but we can make multiple things in the same query here, multiple replacements. So I'm going to say P3 is going to be replace. I'm going to replace in P2 now. Take what, take what this guy gave me and make another replacement in it. All right, comma. We're going to find the close parentheses and then replace it with a blank. And if I run it now, you can see both parentheses are gone in P3. Let's do the same thing one more time for the dash and for the dot. All right, so P4 is replace P3, comma, the dash. Whoops, I typed too many things in there. And then one more time with P5. Replace from P4 the dot with a blank. And now if I run it, you can see my final column P5 there is nice and clean. All the characters are gone. And if you got other stuff in here like spaces, you can remove those too. Same technique. This is the column that's got our final value in it. So let's save this query. I'll call this my clean phone queue. Right? It cleans the phone number up. And you can run it right out here and you see the same results. Now what I want to do is simply make an update query, right? That copies this into this, but you can't 
easily do it inside of the same query. So we'll make another query that just simply runs this one, pulls this value, and puts it in this field. This is the beauty of nested queries. All right, so create another query, query design. We're going to pull in our values from clean phone queue. Okay, we're gonna change this into an update query. The phone number field is going to be updated to P5. Now, if you just hit enter sometimes, it'll put it inside of uh, quotes like that. We don't want the actual word P5. We want the field, the value P5. So put it inside of square brackets, that's important. Okay, now if I run this query, nothing appears to happen because it's an update query, but if you look in your customer table, look at that. Everything is clean. The update query ran, it cleaned up the phone numbers, and then the update happened and it put it back inside the phone number field. Okay, I'm going to save this one as my, let's call this clean phone update queue. So that's the one you'll run. Every time you import new data, you run clean phone update and it'll just fix your phone numbers. Of course, like I tell everyone, make sure you back up your data before running update queries. You should have a nightly backup on your system anyways to back up tables or back up the entire database file. I get emails all the time from people who say, well, I ran this update query and then it messed things up. Well, restore your backup, okay? Before you run any update queries, back up your data. I've got lots of lessons on my website on how to back up your data. I'll put some links below. So that's pretty much it. I cover the replace function in a couple of my lessons, Access Expert 14 and 25. And I also have lots of lessons on uh, append and update queries, which you'll find on my website. Again, I'll put links below. If you have any questions, visit the Tech Help page. You can find it right there on my website. I'll put a link below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos just like this one. I've got pretty active uh, message forums on my website. There's a link. You can join my Facebook group. There's all the fancy stuff. My blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And of course the advertising portion of the lesson. You can watch my level one access for free. It's a three hour tutorial. Right there's a link. And if you like that, level two is just one dollar. Thanks a lot. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.